The flag is up. Leaders not playing by the rules laid out in the constitution on the conduct of public officers have been called out. One of the things that the constitution requires to happen is that that person becomes uh, uh, ineligible to hold the public office that they hold at that point or any other public office. <laughs> But these concerns stem from what has been a checkered legacy in the implementation of Chapter 6 of Kenya's Supreme Charter. It was the much-needed skill to weigh the credibility of leaders who would serve in public office and the Leadership and Integrity Bill was to be the pivot. Sponsored by the then Ministry of Justice and Constitutional Affairs, it was the quintessential law, the golden standard in leadership, for only a short time. From Parliament, the Leadership and Integrity Bill was watered down into merely a lenient manual. Clauses that required leaders to be vetted by state agencies before running for office were deleted, including that providing for a scrutiny by the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission before one receives a nomination certificate from the IEBC. Are you going to forward your personal views or the views of the public? If we support the views of the public as contained in this document, we are going to strengthen the, uh, the leadership and integrity law. This country needs the best. But in doing so, Mr. Speaker, we should, must not stretch the law to ridiculous levels. The law must be reasonable. The law must be sensible. In the law passed, those seeking elective positions did not have to be elected on the basis of integrity. They did not have to declare their wealth. They did not even have to pay penalties if their character was put into question as it was intended. The biggest power that you can give to the commission is the power to, dis to, to disbar candidates from contesting for elections, from even, uh, even from uh, being a, a candidate in an in a, in a, in a, in a election. We cannot beat about the bush they uh, must be declared unfit to hold, not just those offices, but unfit to hold public office. Now the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission has the task of instituting disciplinary proceedings against leaders serving in public office, some of whom have had their character questioned on several occasions. Sheila Sendeo, NTV.